Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Frances Lee, this is Dan Stu, and today we're going to review my dad shoe! Welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So today we are going to talk about shoes. Uh, dance shoes, obviously. I'm going to talk about the shoes that I am currently using. I'll talk you through them, um, all the pros, the cons, how to prepare and maintain them, where you can get them from if any of you are actually interested in trying them out yourselves. So yeah, shoes that I am currently using. I really want to finish my tea before it goes cold. I mean, tea is life right now, okay? I'll give a tenner to the first person to correctly guess how I take my tea. Comment below. Shoes. I got this at the Minac Outdoor Theatre while I was performing there. Such a beautiful theatre. Right on the coast, on the cliffs. It's like carved into the cliff. If you get a chance to go, go. Can you pop it up? Can you pop it up? Here it is. I just love this bag. It smells like feet. Okay. Let's start with taps. So these are Capizio black low heel taps with Teletone tap. I love Teletone taps. They've just got a nicer sound compared to any other taps. Like, they're just, <gasps> I'm missing a screw. Not to get a screw. Anyway, it's in a studio somewhere. Lost forever. How many times have you been wandering around the studio and you find a screw and they're shouting, Who's lost a screw? Me. I have lost a screw. So yeah, Teletone taps. I just think they've got a much nicer sound. <coughs> Two other taps. Like these ones are so dance taps, and I mean, you've just a bit more of a duller sound like you can loosen that out as much as you want they're just not gonna sound the same there's nothing wrong with those ones but i really like these taps these are like my go-to taps worn them in and um, they come with the grips already on them which as you can see i've worn them down a bit so that they're, they're already on there you don't have to worry about them the heel's nice and low so if i'm learning anything new these are like ones I tend to grab, tend to put on. These are where I put on for everything. You can get these in a split sole, I believe, which help you get up on your toes to certain steps a lot better. I've never had a split sole tap shoe, so I can't really comment on any pros and cons of that. If you have had split sole tap shoes, drop a comment below. Enlighten us all. Tell us what you think. So yeah, you can get the split soles. You can also get the really similar pair, which are the Oxford taps with the Cuban heel. I've had a pair of those as well. They're very comfortable. They give you a bit more of a feminine feel, I think, but these are my go-to. Um, I'm pretty sure they're leather as well, so they last, like, I mean, it's creased with obviously being up on my toes, but they're not cracking or anything. The Capizio ones, I just find them much nicer fit with the, the shape of the shoe. Like, I know Block do a really similar. To me, they look really wide and really bulky and just clumpy in comparison to this. 
I find quite a lot of block stuff wide fitting. I've got quite small feet, I've got quite narrow feet. I got like little size three narrow skinny little feet. So that's those. Next we got my tan taps. The heel, the heel's about the same size as a Cuban heel really. On the Oxford taps on the blacks. Yeah, so in comparison you can really see the difference on the heel height. These are a nice heel height. They're comfortable. So dance tan taps. They come with the grips already on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about that. The sole's really nice and really cushioned, but it's, it's kind of like a, a slippery, slidey material. The thing is, if you've got sweaty feet or sweaty tights, or I can feel my foot moving a little bit in the shoe, which is not a big issue. It's shoe. <laughs> Leather sole, but the upper is not. So I mean, pay a bit more for leather, they're gonna last a little bit longer. Like as you can see, they're starting to crack where I've obviously been on my toes so much. They are cracking. And obviously that wouldn't happen with the leather. But they're still a nice shoe, they're still comfortable. And I mean, they're great for show work because they're obviously tanned and they're gonna actually tight to make your legs just look longer, depending on your costume. That's what I use these for performances more than anything. So next up is character shoes or New Yorkers. New York, I tried. Now these are again, so dance, but these are so comfortable. They're really comfortable. These, I think these are the three and a half inch heels. So they're just a little bit, a little bit higher than my, than the three inch tanned ones that I've got. It makes a big difference. It just makes your legs look better. The buckle's got a bit of elastic there for you. Obviously the heels are all reinforced. The bottoms, I know. They come with grips. I recommend you put the grips on. I have not, as you can see, and I'm forever scoring them with a knife just for that extra grip again because I mean like that's just that smooth. They're like that and you just stick them on. Why didn't I do that? It's so dense, they're the same as these. See as you can see that, look, the tap shoe it's just wider than the character heel. My foot doesn't move in this one, but it does slide in this one. But even though the inside is, is exactly the same, there's really nice cushioning in the sole. And it is that smooth, soft, slippery material. But your foot doesn't slide in, in these. But they, yeah, they're really comfortable. One of the most comfortable pairs of character heels New Yorkers I've had. So I also have a tan pair and these are, I hate to say it, one of my favourite brands. They're just not as comfortable. The Capizio. They're slightly lower heel. Again, you've got that little elasticated buckle. These are real leather as well. So I mean, once you, once you break them in, they're going to last longer. Like I've had these long enough now for them to be broken in. But you know, something about this part on the heel, it's not tight, it's not, it's not bad to dance in, but they're just not as comfortable as the so dance ones. I mean, the stitching, can you see? I think it's the stitching, this is not giving. Where the rest, this leather has gone really nice and supple. The stitching's just not giving with it. So it's this part around the heel that's tight. But again, it's a good shoe. These also come with grips, which didn't put on. Why am I like this? I know. But honestly, guys, from a health and safety perspective, those grips on the soles are really important. Like, I would recommend putting them on. You don't know what stage and what floor you're going to get. You're not always going to get lovely, nice, perfect dance studio, dance flooring everywhere you go. So yeah, don't be like me. Put the grips on. Be safe. Okay. Next. Oh gosh. These, why are they in here? I said currently using. Yeah, I'm not using these anymore. Right, okay. Apparently if we left you on first, it's good luck. I don't know how true that is. Do you remember when these were trendy? Back in the day. Jess sneakers! Oh my god! <laughs> I used to love these, oh my god! Everyone loved these, absolutely loved them, right? These are 
breed of Lendon as well, guys. Would I continue to wear them and continue to use them to this day? No. If I'm going to do a commercial class, which is probably what I would have used these in, I just wear trainers or boots or something. I wouldn't wear these anymore. I've also got a black pair, which I think I put on my feet once. So if anyone's interested in the black pair, drop me a message. I will send them to you. Lou? Oh, oh I'm sorry. <coughs> Lou? Miss? No, she's not here right now. She's busy. Can I take a message? Oh my god. Comment if you had these. If you had a jazz sneaker. Next! These, I haven't found anywhere to do these anymore. I bought them from Dance Direct. I can't even remember what make they are. But if you can see, got the heel of a jazz shoe, it's got the toes, the elastic in the middle. So like I've got flat feet. So if I can take all my fabric away, give my feet the best chance possible of looking half decent when I'm pointing for my friggin' life, then I'm gonna. I absolutely loved them. They were so easy and so quick just to slip on. They were so comfortable at the same time. I gotta try and find these for you guys because I really love them. But, I mean, I've had other jazz shoes. There's lace up ones, there's split sole ones, but I was like, just for convenience mainly. And if you've got a quick change, slip it on. Done. No laces, no faffing, no nothing. Done. Sorted. Easy. How do you just slip them on? Split sole, give your feet the best chance possible. So yeah, next up. I wanted to show you my foot thongs, but I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in another bag. So foot thongs, you can get the ones that go between every single toe, which I really don't like. Or you can get one which is literally like a flip-flop, so it goes in between the big toe and then it wraps around. I'm gonna link them. I have the Capizio ones, the suede backs. It covers the bit that you need protecting if you're tuning or if you've got sensitive feet and you haven't built up that hard skin or like me, you just don't like dancing in bare feet. So I'll link the ones that I've got, which I really like. They're not too tight either, but again, I've got a narrow foot like the Capizio ones, but I think they, they cater for narrower feet, which is what I have, so that's what I go for. The depth is good on them. So yeah, they, they're good ones. Yeah, I know a lot of people like me don't like dancing completely barefoot. Shout out to me if you like dancing bare feet. Let me know in the comments. So if you like dancing completely barefoot, completely naked, comment a foot. And if you don't and you like something, just a little covering, just comment a heel. And then there's some people who dance in socks. What is this? Why do you do this? How? How? Do you not feel so unbelievably unstable? So slippy? Oh my god, it's so dangerous. Who are the sock fans? Comment the sock if you're dancing socks. What are you doing? I just don't get it. It's so scary to dance in a pair of socks. Okay, ballet shoes. So these, just my normal ballet flats and they're leather. Yes, I know, I know what you're all thinking, okay? Leather! I like the leather ones. Don't get me wrong, I love canvas, but they just don't last. If you are in them flat out and you're dancing on not the best flooring, they're just, they just don't last as long. And I know these leather ones take a little bit longer to wear in, but they last so much longer. They cost a little bit more, but they just last longer. But these ones I like, they are... What are you? Block. They're block. They're split sole. They've got this nice canvas bit in the middle. Again, let's help my flat feet out. It's got the crisscross elastic, which I prefer crisscross elastic. I just find the one just goes straight across, can dig into your foot if it's not placed right, and it's just, and this helps the shoe to hug your foot a bit more because it like pulls it in up from the arches. These come attached on one side and then you've got to attach them the other ends. But if your elastics are not attached to your shoes or you need to change your elastics, you need new elastics. I'll show you on the point shoes. So yeah, block. I think these were from Dance Direct. Dance Direct I love. This move dance wear apparently is pretty good. I think that's a little bit more expensive. Obviously, again, we've got all the individual merchants. 
ones. But yeah. Anybody else, if there's any other dance sites or dance shops that you know of that you love, put them in the comments below, less shame. Next, I have a pair of soft blocks. This was a requirement at my dance college, but I really despise soft. I mean, I see the benefits of soft blocks. They get you used to the feel of a point shoe, how to do your ribbons up, balance. I think these again will block. I don't like them in soft blocks. I see the benefits, but I mean, for you soft blocks. Point shoes. Right. We're gonna get serious now. If it is your first time buying point shoes, if you have never been on point before and it's your first time going on to point, please, 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 I beg of you, go to a shop, be fitted correctly by somebody who knows what they're doing. Please, so many times I see ill-fitting point shoes. Make sure you're old enough and your bones are developed enough to be going on to point, to even cope with the work. You need to have strong ankles. Kids are going on to point so young and some people are just not ready and they've got then they've got ill-fitting point shoes on top and it's just an accident waiting to happen. It's gonna cause long life problems in the future seriously go and have them fitted properly i always went to dance well in bristol the ladies they are really trained well in how to fit the shoes properly it's so nice down there such a cute little shop as well i mean once you found the shoes you like and back and your feet have stopped growing and stopped developing and you're happy and you're comfortable with the point shoes that you have by all means shop online but for your first pair go and have them fitted Anyway, point shoes. These are my point shoes. They are Gamba, four and a half. Now I'm a three. This is what I mean. You can't just go online and order. Oh, a size three and a Gamba or whatever. Uh, you just can't because, well, it's not gonna fit. They're quite a narrow shoe, which again, I think like we've established, I have a narrow feet. If you've been paying attention, you know I have narrow feet. But again, within all the different brands, there's different widths. There's so much to consider with point shoes, guys. I like these as well because they are more of a matte, not as shiny, more of a matte finish. Ouch pouch. So these, you put on your foot before you put on your point shoe. Yes. Toe pads, you can get gel ones. Bun heads have a version of them. These were in the point shoe shop. You can also buy these online as well, quite easily. These don't really matter. No, they matter in your shoe, but I mean, it's like one size fits all kind of thing. Darning the bottom of your point shoes. If you have the time, the knowledge, the patient and the tools to traditionally darn your point shoes be my guest carry on but if you do not like me you can buy these i don't know if you'll be able to see them because they're worn they're just little pads that you stick on so they look like they've been darned you can get suede ones as well and they just help the longevity of life your point shoe bit more grip. Ribbons! You might notice as well guys, I haven't got any elastic on my point shoes. That's just personal preference. Stitching on your ribbon. If you don't know where to put them, you just fold the back of your point shoe in so it's flat. Fold the back of the point shoe down, right? Not all the way down, just further up where it naturally folds. And then you just slot the ribbons in, in the folds. And that's where they go. And I put them as far down as possible. Just so that support is coming right from the back to help them stay on. And you notice, follow that fold, they'll be at the right angle to tie them off. As you can, if you can see, they've got that slope. When we are on the topic of ribbons, how to correctly tie a point shoe ribbon? So many times I see people just cross them over and tie a bow. What is that? Why? Where did you learn that? I'm going to teach you how to do it properly. Put your foot flat on the floor. Take your inside ribbon, take it up across the front of your ankle, around the back and back to the side that it came from. Next, you get your outside ribbon. Again, cross it over the front of the ankle, 
go around your ankle and meet up with the other one on the inside of your ankle. Are you with me? <laughs> Next, tie. Don't be tying a bow that's going to come undone. No, who even has enough ribbon left for a bow? Tie a knot, good old knot that's not going to come undone. Next, you tuck it under neatly out of the way. That's how you tie your ribbons. If you're doing a show or a performance or something like that, I tend to just spray that with a little bit of hairspray just to hold it in place. But yeah, that's point shoes. That's all the shoes I have, I think. If there's any shoes that you think I should try, drop a comment. If there's any shoes that you like, drop a comment. If there's any shoes you dislike or you've got a different opinion to me, drop a comment. Thanks for watching. If you like this video guys, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my nonsense, pop over to my Instagram page, give it a follow if you want. I'll see you next week because you're going to subscribe, right? See you next week guys. <laughs>